Hello, and welcome to Magnica America's Learning Series. Today, we will go over optical bonding, what it is, and methods for how it is applied to LCD displays. Optical bonding is the term for attaching an LCD, touchscreen, and cover glass all together by using different materials and methods. There are three major types of optical bonding. OCR, or wet bonding with clear resin. OCA, or dry bonding with a clear adhesive sheet. And air gap bonding using clear adhesive tape. First, we show OCR, optical clear resin, or what we refer to as wet bonding. The first step is to prepare the cleaned display. Then, deposit ceiling and height gasket around the edges. Then we fill the open area with clear resin. This process is automated, done by machine. Next, we place the glass or touchscreen on the gasket and resin. And finally, we cure the seal with UV light. The next process is OCA, optically clear adhesive, or dry bonding. Again, the very first step is to prepare the cleaned display. And this time, we place a full sheet of OCA film on the LCD surface. Then we place the glass or touchscreen on the adhesive film. And finally, cure the seal inside the autoclave machine. The final method is air gap bonding. These are the steps for air gap. Again, start by preparing the cleaned display. Then place the clear adhesive tape around the edges of the LCD. Unlike OCA, the adhesive is only along the edges and not across the entire surface. This leaves an air gap in the middle. Finally, place the cover glass or touchscreen on the adhesive tape and apply pressure and heat to cure. Here are the pros and cons for each method. OCR is the most durable with respect to impact for shock and vibration. It features a higher contrast ratio and best sunlight readability due to the reduced levels of reflected ambient light. However, OCR is a higher cost option compared to OCA and air gap panels. Example applications for OCR panels include outdoor digital signage, ATM machines, aviation, and transportation. OCA offers a simpler and faster process than OCR and is more cost effective. However, the OCA process does not work for thick bezels and is difficult to debond for rework. Example applications for OCA include indoor display systems of all kinds that require moderate cost and higher visibility. Finally, air gap panels are the lowest cost and easiest to debond for rework. And although they have generally good visibility, they do experience some reflections due to the air pockets in the middle of the display. These panels offer moderate durability and are susceptible to environmental changes like temperature and humidity. Applications for air gap panels are generally consumer products requiring low cost and are typically high volume. So, what kind of machines make all this happen? Matnica with bonding partner BSI can bond panels from 2 inches all the way up to 108 inches in size. Let's take a look. An OCR bonding machine for panels up to 32 inches. An OCR bonding machine for panels up to 43 inches. An OCR semi-automated bonding table for panels up to 65 inches and an OCR semi-automated bonding table for panels up to 108 inches. For OCA bonding, 
a bonding machine for panels up to 65 inches, and an autoclave machine for OCA assemblies up to 50 inches in size. In summary, with Magnica, you can add touch screens and cover glass to your LCDs. You can choose the bonding technique that meets your needs. And remember, all of our processes are performed in the U.S., saving you tariff costs and turnaround time. Be sure and consult with Matnica for all your display and bonding needs. Please visit our website, www.matnica.com slash Americas for more details, contact information, and questions. Thanks for watching.